What did I read today? Seems like the theme dealt with experience. Having the lack of it could result in accidents. Having a lot of experience can help you create great things. How about the bad one first? This one says, a new driver and his two passengers were sent to hospital after attempting to quote, drift through a hairpin corner at high speed at Cypress Bowl Road. Not a cheap car too by the sounds of it. It says, when the driver of a 2018 BMW 440i sedan thought he'd impress his friends by drifting through a hairpin turn on Cypress Bowl Road yesterday, he likely didn't expect that it would result on a trip to the hospital and a $368 fine. On March 10, 3 p.m., the officers were called to the scene of a motor vehicle collision in the 3800 block of Cypress Bowl Road, west of the district of West Vancouver. It was going pretty fast too. It said he had accelerated to estimated speeds of 120 to 140 kilometers an hour with a 60 kilometer speed limit, and it says had attempted to drift through a hairpin turn. The driver immediately lost control and skidded across oncoming lanes of traffic, striking a rock face before colliding with a parked and unoccupied Mercedes SUV. So more damage and it says it's estimated at over $50,000. The driver, a class 7 learner, was issued a $368 violation ticket for driving without due care and attention. Makes you wonder too, for people driving cars like that and they're a beginner, if they can actually afford to do so, do they even care about the fine? They'll be just like, oh, I'll do it again afterwards, you never know. And I guess a cool story about having a lot of experience. There was this video spreading around of someone flying, I guess, an FPV drone. They're making, I guess, a film of this bowling alley. And yeah, it was really impressive flying it through virtually everywhere within the building. The bowling alley itself going within where all the pins and stuff would actually organize. So it was really cool. I guess that's the example of different styles of capturing too. That one with an FPV drone. And it's interesting to read this one. It says, behind the scenes story of the viral Brian Lake Bull drone video. It's generated millions of views and lots of questions. And now the creators are explaining how they pulled off one of the most impressive single take drone shots ever. As to why they created it, it says director Anthony Jaska said the video wasn't produced as a commercial for the business. It was meant to serve as a way to showcase the potential of storytelling through the use of a first person view drone, which is a very small drone that can fly into tight spaces that once seemed impossible. It's just doing something unique, Jaska said. It's taking a traditional storytelling and putting new technology behind it. There's no cuts, it's one take, no CG. Although to be clear about that, it's one take in a sense they didn't stop, cut, and then basically do another shot and edit it. It said they did try a couple of times. It said we probably did 10 takes with the camera running. Christensen said, the first few, the timing was way off and we would get to a certain part and the bowler wouldn't be there. Or maybe the drone was a little out of position. So it was cool to see halfway through the process how we had to kind of restructure everything. And it's interesting, as you would imagine, the most difficult part would be flying through the bowling pin areas. But according to them, the hardest part was actually flying inside the building. It says, Christensen said the hardest part turned out to be the beginning of the video when the drone starts high above the bowling alley, descends to street level, and sneaks through the front door as two people enter. And during the interview, you can actually see the type of equipment they used. It seems like for the FPV system, it is a DJI one. And for the drone itself, it's not a DJI drone just from what I see here. It seems like it's a Cinewhoop. And as well, with that, they attach a GoPro onto it. So they're probably using the camera on the drone as the feed so they know where they're going. And the final footage you see is actually from the GoPro. I know some people said I should try stuff like this just because I like capturing cinematic stuff. It actually reminds me of another impressive one I saw before. It was somewhere, I believe, in Japan or something like that where someone was flying this small drone going through like a classroom and stuff like that as a way to show an introduction just like in a film. So yeah, lots of use to it in different ways. And the other thought I had with this is how outdated a lot of drone regulations are in terms of things like FPVs are actually not designed for them at all in so many ways. Like here, imagine someone just flying it by themselves with a goggle on, oh, it's legal. You don't have visual line of sight. Or imagine just taking off, let's just say it's in a controlled airspace or some of that, like you're underneath all the buildings and all that. If you're afraid of a plane going into that area there, man, we got bigger problems. Even here, the flight reviews aren't even designed for stuff like this too. So it makes you wonder where if you're, let's say, doing a test with this, how are those people, many of them, going to be the ones to say, oh, this guy's safe and all that, if they can't even fly it themselves with these types of drones and all that? Mm. Oh. 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 
See you guys later.